Hi, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world, sitting in my survival camper. I've now got solar power hooked up, so I've got LED lighting everywhere. And it's nice and cozy in here. I still use my oil lamps, gives me a little bit of warmth. This is midwinter. It can get pretty cold here at night. Right now, it's about 8 o'clock at night so it's cooling off and I'm sitting here comfortable in my my shirt so this gives you an idea that you can be comfortable off the grid I am sitting here in the middle of the forest isolated from everything fully off the grid and honestly it's quite comfortable I can charge my camera I can run my laptop. It's you can definitely get by and you do not have to go without all the modern conveniences if you have to bug out. Anybody interested in a little bit more detail on the truck camper can just have a look at some of my videos. I will be doing a video soon about the contents in the truck camper. Everything I have in this this thing this this camper is loaded what I'd like to talk to you about tonight is a little bit about prepping and a lot of people are spending their life savings they're racking up the credit cards they're buying all kinds of gear for bugging out um, for heading for the mountains, however you want to word it. A lot of people are spending thousands of dollars on preps. Well, this is going to be my first video in a series of videos about how you can prepare on a budget, basically. Now, I've got here some books i pulled aside, and I'll be showing you some of the books that I use and some of the ways that I plan on having a very comfortable life after bugging out with less investment. The main topic tonight is should you buy or should you build? And that's that's the question. Um, you can you can go on a shopping spree you can bulk up on anything and everything you can imagine but stuff is going to run out I'm going to eventually run out of oil for my lamps I can stock up, I can bulk up as much as I want I have some limitations on how much money I can spend and where I can put it if I have to leave everything in here what's here is all I have If for back to the lamps here if I run out of lamp oil I have to know how to replace it you have to know how to replace it and these are important skills that our ancestors had for thousands of years we are a modern society we are programmed with these modern beliefs modern ideas of we must go to the store we must go to the gas station we must buy oil for our lamps it's all petroleum based society but our ancestors didn't have petroleum and I think they did pretty well our ancestors had skills and they were able to build pretty much everything they wanted. They were self-sufficient, they could take care of themselves, and we sadly have lost that. But what I have is I'm going to show you some of my most valued books and discuss some of the things I'm going to stock up on. Well, a lot of the things I have stocked up on, but also some of the things that we should know how to make, build, repair, whatever 
for a long-term survival situation. So back to the lamp oil, buy some, have it with you, have your comfort items. I have propane in my camper, I have camp stoves, I have fuel for the camp stoves, I've got my lamp oil, eventually it's going to run out. My plan is I'm learning the skills now to make the fuels to replace it when it runs out. So people who go out and spend thousands of dollars and they buy everything they think they're going to need and they head for the hills within a few months to a year are going to be stuck saying, now what do I do? I have nothing left. So this here, back to basics, from Reader's Digest, is one of my most cherished books that I've ever had. I've had this for many, many years. My mom gave it to me. We had it when we were children and my mom let me bring it with me. We took care of it. It looks brand new still. But believe it or not, this is from the 1980s, I think. Nineteen eighty one. And this is one of the most valuable books in my collection. This book tells you how to how to build things. This book tells you how to make your own furniture, how to make your own power, how to make your own clothing. This book tells you how to preserve foods. This book is aptly named. This book teaches you how to get back to the basics. And anybody out there who does not have this book, who plans on eventually bugging out or bugging in, if you want to be comfortable for long term I strongly advise getting this book it's I can't even begin to tell you how much it covers but I've learned so much from this book and I still continue to learn it's got metal smithing gardening skills home crafts and homesteading raising your own livestock something I have no knowledge of but eventually we will have to take care of our own animals. I have chickens, I've raised chickens, but that's as far as my skills go. Preserving meat, preserving fish, preserving produce, cooking with wood. A lot of people don't know how to cook with wood. It's definitely not as simple as turning on the stove and boiling up a pot of water. Everything's different. We just had a survival weekend not long ago where we took cast iron pots and pans out to the forest and we practiced cooking over the fire. It teaches you how to get energy from the wind, sun, water, and wood. And much, much more. This book goes on and on with such valuable details. How to build a log cabin. Uh, things break down, things will need repairs, you'll have to cut your own wood. You'll have to make your own boards. It's even shows you how to build your own tools if necessary. It shows you many things. So the Reader's Digest Back to Basics I highly, highly recommend for long-term survival skills. Now, this book, honestly, I have to admit, sadly I have not got into it too deeply. Another Reader, Reader's Digest book, the complete do-it-yourself manual. This thing has this book has subjects I haven't even begun to cover. But this is more about repairing stuff in your home, repairing plumbing, repairing cabinets, building cabinetry, building homes. It looks like how to cut lumber. This goes hand in hand with the Back to Basics book very nicely, I think. And this is one of my second most recommended books that you should have. So, let's talk about some things. We've already discussed oil. What about, what about hunting? What about providing food? A lot of people are going up and bulking up on guns and bulking up on ammo. Um... Honestly, eventually, manufacturing will run out. Eventually, the guns and ammo wear out. The ammo will run out. There will be people making their own. 
but I think that a bow and arrow are very simple reliable items that people had for thousands of years and I think they're still valid actually I happen to have them here in my survival camper I do not stockpile arrows I have a few again I believe you should have enough items to ease into the transition you should have enough comfort items to help you when you bug out you head to the mountains you're starting a new life you have some a little bit of home with you you got some comfort items you've got your your fuel and your your normal food and maybe some snacks and goodies and maybe a camp chair or two um, these things will be used up wear out whatever but I think they're a nice transition item and my my arrows I will make more when it's necessary just like the Indians did these are skills that I think everybody should have that people probably don't think of in this go to the store buy what I need society um, Walmart has pretty much everything I need and we have unfortunately gotten into this mentality of thinking well I'm just gonna run to the store oh I broke my arrow I'll go buy another when the system is gone you'll have to make your own rope rope making is another skill you'll have to learn I recently killed and butchered my first deer I had never shot a large animal before I am not against hunting but I also don't see a need for it as long as the grocery stores are open but I did go out a friend offered to teach me how to butcher it myself and I felt this was a very valuable skill this was a skill I did not have uh, <laughs> when I went out into the forest I had no idea what I'm supposed to do with this thing after shooting it and now I'm comfortable now I know I've processed the meat myself I have I have separated the fat from the meat I know how to make oil for my lamps now from the fat these are skills that everybody's going to need these are skills that people had for thousands of years that we've lost we've got to get back to basics we've got to do it now well we still have the conveniences and the internet and the libraries to buy these books these are important things that we have to get I have something else extremely important this is an old book from my grandparents and this is I highly doubt this will be this particular book will be easy to find again but this is earth medicine earth foods and this is a guide to wild plants the Indians used for food and medicine and this is one of my most cherished books as well this is a very old book but books like this I strongly advise you get a hold of this book is from 1972 and I think the 70s they put out some of the best books of all times for self-sufficiency this talks about all kinds of medicinal problems scurvy you definitely learn about scurvy before you get out there and you don't have your vitamins anymore there if you need medication if you take medication get yourself a natural medicine book learn now how to replace the medicines that you're used to with nature because again for thousands of years our ancestors did not have the pharmacy they had nature they had these skills were handed down from father to son and from generation to generation these skills were just common sense for our ancestors and you're going to have to learn to make your own medicine I think this is extremely important and here's another one related to country doctor handbook 
I have old-fashioned cures for diseases, pain remedies, obesity, diabetes, cancer, old-fashioned remedies for modern problems. Again, I can't stress how important it is that you have the skills now and the knowledge now to help you later. I have a lot of woodworking books here. How things work. I have various things. Bench making. Um, how to build a cabin. How to build a deck. How to build a table. How to build a dresser. I mean, these are skills that my grandparents had. Um, you look back in the 1800s, 1700s, even further back, people knew how to do this stuff themselves. Uh, we aren't going to be running to Ikea or Walmart anymore. We will have to make our own furniture. Eventually the stuff I'm sitting on will wear out. I'll have to replace it with homemade stuff. So learn how to provide for yourself now while you have the time while you have the convenience and get these books in your library shop around I just recently got a book a very very valuable book I paid I think three dollars for this book from the 1970s that teaches you all kinds of outdoors wood skills trapping hunting making mittens making coats making pants making moccasins making everything basically from nature very important skills another book I've got also from the 70s one of my all-time favorites is called stocking up I believe you can still get these this is from some time in the 70s and this tells you all about foods it talks about vitamins and minerals it talks about how to s prepare your food how to preserve your food this goes into so much detail and this is old-fashioned skills that my grandma knew. I know my grandma did this because when I went down in her basement she had hundreds and hundreds of canned foods. These are skills that you definitely have to have because when these things wear out, when my shirt wears out, I'll have to make a new one. So get yourself a nice library of books and learn how to get back to basics.